There were many people here with you. Are you still like uh, under protection? Well, um, there are some volunteers from the uh, Catalan police who decide to spend holidays or free days to protecting me from the from the, the first day. They they spend their holidays yes. coming here to to yes. come and protect you. Yes. Where are you living at present? Now I'm living in a Waterloo house. But if you want to win the fight, uh, you know it's a bad idea to stay in Waterloo. Rebellion, in the case most uh, serious, could uh, represent 30 years in jail. Mm -hmm. That's why. That's jail. why you're in Waterloo now. Yeah. You know, Jan Perms, yeah. the president of the Flemish Parliament, who has written a letter to. Carme Focadel, he has written a letter apparently in which he criticizes the Spanish government and he's done it on a, on a letter of the Flemish parliament, so well, Spain... He has exercised his right to, to speech and to, to free opinion. In the name of the Flemish population? I, I don't know, I don't, I don't know the, the details. Is succession just inevitable? Of course, is independence the only possible solution? Not at all last uh, 12 months, do you feel like you've made a mistake in that period? Yes, yeah, sure. Uh, I committed a mistake in the 10th of October when I decided to suspend the Declaration of Independence. I decide to suspend mm -hmm. in the best moment for our process. Um, read in your book, Mr. Puigdemont, that you no, lo no longer see a role for yourself in the future. Well, well um, what do you mean? It's quite difficult for me to to talk about the future <laughs> and uh, why is that because i don't know with what will uh, going on next week no. so you've written a book mm -hmm. the, the catalan crisis an opportunity for europe well i try to write a letter to the european people aren't the spanish people the first that you have to convince <laughs> well what do you mean by an opportunity for Europe? Europe can um, have an opportunity to be more stronger. Stronger. And I'm sorry, Mr. Puigdemont, but they're not interested in your case. <laughs> Are they, you sure? Well, they haven't reacted. Can we say today in Catalonia, compared to last year, nothing has changed? Well, yes, we are uh, start our path to independence. We are more independent today than one year before. We are a political subject, de facto. We are recognized it as a political subject de facto. Of course, we are not. Ma Madrid doesn't think so. We are seven people in exile and nine people in jail. So the, our decision uh, was to, my decision, uh, the decision of my colleagues who are in uh, exile, is to continue to fighting. Do you still have impact from here on, on Madrid and what is happening there and the new prime minister? <sighs> I can imagine it's a bit harder from, from here to, to do so. Well, mm, mm. And, and the fact that you left because uh, your colleagues are still in jail, do you feel that you've abandoned them, maybe? No. People in jail can't see their son. Um, and it is very serious. Do you see your family now and then? Do they come over? We spent uh, a month, last month, last month of August, here in uh, Waterloo, together. In terms of organizing the referendum and claiming legitimacy, you haven't gone the whole way. And, and, and on the one hand you say, okay, there has to be a democratic solution. Well, if I were your adversary, which I, I'm not, um, I would have said, well, then you should have at least done that in a proper democratic uh, way. With all the sympathy I have for the fact uh, what, what you are trying to do, um, it's a... Um, I think it's a, it's a big mistake in the way you treated it. It was very amateuristic. If you want um, to earn some, some dignity, I think you should go back and uh, lock yourself up in jail with your friends. Uh, if I was the leader of such a, a movement, I would want to be with my friends. Mm. Um, and I, I, I cannot understand why you are here in the studio and not... Uh, with your friends in, in Catalonia. Line. Yes, because if I was in jail, I couldn't be in that studio. I don't believe in the martyrs. If you didn't want but to have martyrdom, you shouldn't have organized a fake uh, referendum with a real one. And then probably the outcome would have served at something. And now it was done in an amateuristic way, and then you lost a lot of credibility. And I think that's a bit a problem. 
uh, once you lose credibility for a case, yeah. you can't expect that the whole uh, population is, is right behind you. So that's, I, that's an issue. The referendum was not a fake. You should have organized uh, a like, proper democratic yeah, referendum. Yeah. Not yeah.